All right, we're out in the shop, and uh, I gotta button up this door. But uh, before I do that, I thought I'd give myself one more shot at finding the remaining whistle in this door. So I went to China Freight. I got myself a new crappy mechanic stethoscope. And uh, we're going to try this inside the shop with the leaf blower. So my wife's going to stand out there with our gas-powered leaf blower. Run it up and down on the seam while I'm inside trying to see if I could find anything.
here coming through here too. Oh, listen. Do it some more. That's probably just wind noise outside. I'm going to light this up. This reminds me of some, like something out of Cheech and Chong, but it's just sage. <laughs> Grab that. I want that light off the workbench. I'll go grab it. Oh, I'm sorry, no. I can't hear you. I want that light. So, where I seem to notice it the most, I think, was down in this area. Uh -huh. So, I got to come back and focus on that a little bit. I'm just checking everything else right now. Okay. Uh, see, I gotta get some light. Well, I'll go ahead and use that up here for the moment. Okay. Start me up, baby. So when you're going down the road, it's actually sucking the air out. So this is different, you know, this is a different test. It's not the same conditions, but I'm hoping it tells me something. Okay, go ahead.
I almost think this hose works better. Go ahead. Seal missing right there. Like that. Okay, let's go down here. Hey, blow up higher. Higher. Oh, there sure is a hell of a lot of noise coming out of there. Did it just die? It was starting to before, so... Maybe we're out of fuel. Well, I found a couple spots up there I gotta investigate. We had to put some more fuel in the leaf blower. I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, sage going here again. Sort of helps visualize the smoke where air is coming in, and then I can focus on it from there. Really want to get this door buttoned up and move on to other things. But once I put that cover, that fabric over it, it's not going to be accessible to me anymore. So, hey. So right about where I marked this with the pink tape, I found a little indentation in the seal right there caused by a rivet back there. 
So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. And then up here, I marked some stuff in the corner that corresponds to that right there. That corner. So I need to investigate the fit of the seal there. And I found a little annoyance right there where that seal doesn't go all the way up on the window. Stop short. So we'll see if I can do something about that, but that's inside the glass. So maybe not. But yeah, that's the findings so far. So I put some of that caulk tape stuff on the door around the rivet and made some adjustments to my seal up on top. And uh, I was going to put my door back together, start putting the fabric and diamond plate back on it. And uh, I remembered I got to work on my lock. This is an old bargeman. Uh, it's either bargeman or bargeman uh, lock. These were used really commonly on these bus conversions and RVs from the period. They don't make them anymore. I had to repair this thing before. And what I did is I bought one off of eBay, a used one that wasn't in very good condition. It cost me like 130 bucks for this used bargeman lock. And I went through and made one good lock out of it but I'm still having some issues with this functioning properly, uh, primarily with the key. And so I'm gonna do some uh, disassembly work on this thing here, see if I can get this uh, working a little better. So I was scrounging around in a box looking for my old parts door lock, and look what I found. There's something that previous owner left me buried down in the bottom of a tub. Yeah, you know what that is? And it looks like it's already all set up to tie into the, the fuel lines here with the correct size fittings and whatnot. So yeah, that's gonna go in my emergency parts box in the bus. So yeah, a peek inside my emergency parts box. A compressor, a spare air governor, an alternator, and a starter. And some door rubber, of course. And now, a fuel pump. <laughs> a priming pump. All right, I pulled both these locks apart, my spare. And my one that was installed in the bus. The one that was installed in the bus has been modified for the thicker door. So it has this square thing. It's quite a bit longer on this one. It receives the the handle on the inside of the door um, and the lock you know lock unlock thing has been extended as well it was pretty nasty so I'm giving it a solvent bath I'm gonna let it set overnight and I'm probably gonna replace some of the parts that are you know worn with some of these from my spare. Some of these are in a little better shape, operate a little better, a little tighter, just from use. So that's kind of the plan, but I need to have the guts of this thing clean. Um, I think somebody used the wrong kind of lubricant in it, probably me, and it was kind of gummed up in there. So just needed to operate better. The common problem these locks have 
is the handle splits in half on them. See that? So this one, this lock was a donor for the handle <laughs> that's currently installed on my bus, and I put the, the busted one back in this when I reassembled it, just to keep it all together. So that's it for today. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing for more bus content. Appreciate it. Thanks.